greedy she's proud she's she's she has this issue and hey guys what's up and welcome to my youtube channel this is sonia here if you're new thank you so much for stopping by if you are a returning subscriber thank you again for the support i really 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 do appreciate see guys it is actually a coincidence that my last video is about nelo kk and her um master class um if you've not watched that video i'm going to put a link to that video in the description box now this video i am making is because i was triggered by another video a reaction video that i saw if you guys don't know lily pop came online to apologize to nelo kk and the sister banter with nj um Adeze Space and Sandra Reality. Yes. Um, sometime last year, something went on between these people and Lily Pope made a video that I consider to be an overreaction. Okay. Something happened between Sandra um, Reality and Lily Pope. And you know, like, you know, the whole gist, obviously. So what happened happened and i felt like lily pope actually overreacted in the video that she made now in this whole thing that happened in the whole thing that happened last year nelo keke was the person that her name was dragged the most reason first um victoria already came with the potter court, big potter court, um youtube saga whatever whatever and Nelo Keke responded to her and called her dumb. Out of anger, obviously, she was angry and a lot of people came out and shouldn't have responded. How dare you call her dumb? And these are people that would have actually done worse. These are people that would have reacted in, a, in an extreme way, self. So she reacted out of anger and people came for her and all that. So her name was dragged in, in that light. Again, the masterclass Wahala came. Her name was still dragged. People said she did not learn anything. She's too greedy. Why did she start masterclass immediately? Um, Dinah um, uh, announced her own masterclass that she has done three masterclasses already. This one that she's greedy. She's proud. She's she's she has this issue and all that. The people are saying a lot of things. Again, her name was still dragged about the issue with Sandra and reality. Even one YouTuber even went to the extent of saying that it is Nelo Keke that is behind the anonymous message or the fake um, account that was used to send Sandra a message. Like, that was used to send Sandra a message, yes? That is Nelo Keke that is behind it, that she's the queen of saga, she is this, that, and all that, all that, all that, all that nonsense. It happened last year. Now, Lily Pop made a reaction video to clear the air, and but then she threw some words and she said some things that weren't actually good. Okay, she overreacted. She overreacted, in my in my own opinion. She even went to the extent of dragging Nelo's father and husband into the whole thing. Nelo Keke's name was just trending all over everywhere on YouTube and a lot of people that don't like her seize that opportunity to throw insults at her and do a lot of things to her. Anyway, now, yesterday or two days ago, I now saw a video by Lily Pope. She said she wants to make peace. Okay? Now, in this video, she called a daisy called Nelo, called Banta with NJ, but Banta didn't answer. Or maybe she was busy or she just didn't answer. And she called Sandra from Sandra's reality. She called these people to apologize on camera. Now, people are now saying, okay, first, she called Adeze first. And Adeze was like, okay, no problem. You know, Adeze responded like cool, calm way. Then she called Nelo. She called Nelo, okay, she called first, she called Adeze, after calling Adeze, she called Nelo because she said Adeze might call Nelo immediately. So she wanted to call Nelo before Adeze calls Nelo. So she called Nelo, Nelo was like, I can't do this, like, I can't, just, I can't. 
send me a text you get send me a text and she like got the call yeah and then she called sandra sandra was like um, why are you calling me and she said she wanted to apologize and then sandra was like okay no problem now a lot of people are saying uh danilo overreacted that it's still the same pride that they're talking about that forgiveness is key this that 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 and all that you people are now seeing it this way you are not seeing it that she's still hurt she was the one that her name was dragged the most she went through a lot last year like even though yeah she's strong and she didn't even come out to come and say anything she did not even react towards all the nonsense that was going on but she's still a human being and she has feelings and then you just come to drag her name and then you just call her and you, and you expect her to say okay i forgive you people are different people are saying can't you see how adeze reacted adeze is a different person nelo keke cannot live being nelo keke and end up being adeze it's not possible She's still feeling hot, obviously, and she even sounded nice to me, Seth. To me, she even sounded nice because some people might actually do something worse. Some people might not even hear her out. Sometimes, like, um, this is Lily Pop TV. We just caught the call. Like, and once she hears this is uh, Lily Pop TV, she just caught the call. You're not going to beat her, but she she still feels sad and she still feels angry and. She's still feeling bad, obviously. And then she now said, text me. There's nothing wrong with sending her a text message because she does not want to say anything that might, like, you know now, escalate the whole matter. She now said, assuming now she said something, people will come and say that she said something. Assuming she reacted and she was not, like, angry or saying anything, people will still come and say she did this, she, she did the other one. She now said, I cannot do this. What is wrong with saying I cannot do this? She cannot do this, that she cannot do it. Or you want her to come and pretend? She said, yes, yeah, send me a text. She should send her apology via text message because I don't see any reason why people should come online and dictate how somebody should feel. How? You hurt somebody. Do you even now, you and now people hurt somebody and you now expect her to, you now expect to dictate to her how to accept the apology. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't understand. It, it, it doesn't really make sense to me. She's obviously still angry. She said send her a text. Simply just send her a text. Okay? I really, really, like what um, Lily Pope did, I really commend her. It's not everybody that would come and openly apologize like that. But I also felt disappointed somehow because what I was expecting is was that after she called Adesi and Adesi answered, I was expecting her to tell Adesi that she was being recorded. Like... I wanted her to tell Adesi that this is a live video, like this is I'm making a video that you're being recorded and stuff like that. Because if me, I'm in their shoes and you finish calling me and you apologize to me and all that, and then I now come online to YouTube and I'm watching your video and I see that, it will feel actually awkward. It looks like a publicity stunt to me. I don't know. I don't I don't really know. People should not come for me or say whatever. But I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section. What do you think? Because me, I see it as a publicity stunt. If you want to apologize... Okay, someone said she apologized uh, online so that they will not deny that she did not apologize. Now, are you apologizing to show us that you apologize? Or you're apologizing because you want to make peace with God and to have a clear mind? If your reason for apologizing is because you want to have a clear conscience and you want to feel happy, there's really no reason coming online to do it, to be honest. Even if they come out to deny that you did not apologize to them, it's not between you and God. You, in your heart of hearts, you know that you apologize to them. I see no reason why you should come online to come and do it. Well, even if you finally decided to do it online, you should have at least told the people that you called that answered, tell them, this is being recorded. To me, this is just like, another another um wahala that you're just you're just opening another can of wahala to, to be honest and um it looks like you might have like clear intentions for doing it but it looks like a publicity stunt to be honest it looks like a publicity stunt it looks like you're trying to manipulate your your um your subscribers you, it, that is, that is what it looks like to me. And for people that are saying that 
they look okay is proud this that 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 please you guys should give her time it is not easy it is not easy for people to just drag your name for nothing and then at the end of the day they now come and apologize i'm not saying that she was totally wrong or that she was uh totally right but at least like you guys should just be fair on her it's it, as in I'm really not taking sides here. I'm I'm actually not taking in short, I'm taking sides. I'm taking sides with Nilo Kiki. I'm I'm taking sides. If I take sides, you, you come and beat me, I'm in my house. I am taking sides. You cannot tell her how to now accept the apology. You cannot tell her how to feel. You cannot tell her how how to be how to be emotional. You cannot you cannot you cannot tell her those things. I did say that just accepted the apology. Her name was not dragged as much as Nelo Kiki's name was dragged last year. So if we should allow this woman to breathe, please allow her to breathe. Allow her to breathe. Okay. Anyway, so that is that, you guys. This is all that I actually have to say. I feel like we should just allow Nelo Kiki to just breathe allow her um i think nobody has the justification to tell somebody how to accept apology or how not to accept it it's her life she's hurt and she should be allowed to you know just allowed to breathe yeah allow her to breathe she's a human being and she has feelings and i actually i totally agree with what she said in her last video um with adesi she said people always 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 um support the the YouTuber with a smaller subscriber count against um, the bigger YouTuber. People are always in favor of the smaller YouTuber against the bigger YouTuber. Well, that is all I have to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is just my opinion. And yeah, this is what I think. I'm going to see you guys in my next video, which is going to be like my normal, my normal video. Yes, no more, no more um, Nelo KK, whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to be seeing you guys. Did I say no more? No, look again. No, 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 please. No, please. If if the opportunity comes, you still do another one. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video.